I'm going to try and tackle the lower half. I've got the top half done. Let's see if we can tra tackle the bottom half. What's up YouTube? It's Stacy coming back at you again today. This is gonna be a little uh, gardening video. We're over here on the back side of the chicken run. Oliver's just having fun in the grass. I've got some, some uh, pretty hot dogs. It's a pretty hot one here in Colorado today. Hopefully you can hear me. There's a lot of background noise today, but he's just over here playing in the tall grass. <coughs> Daisy's up there on the porch. Daisy! There she is. She's up there staying cool on her chair. There's a big bowl of water up there too. Sorry about that, but uh, they're over here staying cool under a tree. Now today's video, we are out here in the garden. Well, not over here, it's over there. But we are going to be in the garden. I'm gonna show you an awesome gardening tool that works great to get rid of weeds. So let me go grab that tool and we'll uh, dippity do this. Oliver, you're such a nut. We're over here at the garden now. As you can see, some of my stuff is going really well out here. But, of course, it happens with any garden. I have weeds over here. This stuff over here. This is my Brussels sprouts, which are doing really well and that's daisy squeaking in the background if you can hear it i don't have the greatest of mics still i'm still working on it this is my purple cabbage this i believe is my either cauliflower or broccoli because i have them right next to each other so not quite sure which one's which but yeah that's what's on the top half and then down there is a whole bunch of squash but yet it's hard to see because of all the weeds now I need to knock down the weeds so that the water goes to the plant instead of straight to the squash so let me go see what Daisy's crying about and when I come back I'll show you the awesome tool that makes weeding the garden a breeze so give me one second okay I'm back now Daisy just wanted in the house because she got too hot, so I had to go let her in. <clears throat> but now, I could stand out here all day in this great weather. I love this weather. It's super hot here today in Colorado. Now, I could stand out here all day and use a normal weed tool, which, uh, as the looks of things, would rather take me a while. But, I have an awesome tool that I wanted to show you, share with you, to help you weed your garden. Now this tool, I got from Paulino Gardens a long time ago. They are completely gone, there is nothing left of them but a sign, which is sad. Because even uh, my mom went there when she was a kid, her granddad took her there, and then I worked there at one point down the wrong rabbit hole. Anyways, I got this tool at Paulino's a long time ago. I used to have a long handle for it. I don't know where the heck it went, so I just jimmy rigged it to another pole and it seems to work great. But this, this right here, is the tool. As you can tell, you hold it right. It's a flat part right here, and it's got little kind of serrated teeth on this side and on that side 
Now this tool works great for quick weeding. Um, you can get these at any Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, Amazon. This is not a sponsored video, I just thought I'd give you a cool tip on how to weed your garden. I do have it taped to a pole, works great. So uh, let me uh, demo it for you and show you how easy it is to use. You just put that this flat piece on the ground and just push it by the weeds or towards the weeds, chops them out, and it works on any weed. See those are those nasty prickly ones that can uh, really hurt your dog if your dog comes running through or if you happen to come through barefoot, it just sucks. Same thing, you just push down. Come right out. Goes great around flowers. See? It just works. Back up the camera. You can actually see what I'm doing here. I've got that section pretty much already done. I'll uh, demo this little bit right here for you. So you kind of get the gist of how it works. Yes, it does take a little muscle, but it is better than getting on your hands and knees, getting down there and pulling them by hand, or even using your weed tool. This way it's not a complete back-breaking, knee-killing chore, but it's that time of year where you gotta get weed. easily goes around any of your plants without harming them. Just gets rid of all the unwanted. Yes, this does just cut them. It's not like pulling them. Some will come back. Some will just die off. But it's still better than getting down there on your hands and knees pulling them all by hand, especially when it's this hot out today. Uh, this does take a little effort, but I'd still say it's better than getting on your knees down there by hand. Now, as you can see, this does get the weeds down pretty well, taken care of. Now, most people 
we'll just toss these weeds. But since I have ducks and chickens, I gather them all up into a trash can or bucket or something. And I just toss it in with them and they just enjoy weeds. It helps cut down on my feed bill. I just try to avoid the uh, sumac trees because those are poisonous. Because if you notice, I did miss, looks like I missed weeds over there. I didn't, those were sumac trees. Those are poisonous to them if they have a bunch, you know, and if they have a weakened immune system, but a little bit's okay, but I try my da darndest, sorry, to uh, not put those in, put things in that can hurt them. So I hope you like this helpful gardening, gardening tip. Sorry, I need to go get a drink. Um, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button. It helps me out. Ring the notification bell. Share this video with anyone you want to. It helps me more than you think. And don't forget to find the squirrel. Now, if you're new to my channel and wondering what the heck do I mean by find the squirrel, in um, most of my videos, not all of my videos, I think it was, a, I started it in an incubator video, I think. My second incubator, the white one, not the yellow one. Uh, there is a hidden stuffed gray squirrel and pretty much all of those, all of my videos from that video on. So that's what I mean by find the squirrel. He's hidden in all of them. You comment down below on where you think you saw it. So thanks for watching just what I do today. I hope you like this gardening tip. Hope it helps you out a lot. As I said, please subscribe. I haven't got that many subscribers. I'm trying to grow. It'll get there. It's not a quick thing. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.